Hi Peaches welcome back to another video. Today I'll be ranking Toka Life locations. This video is for entertainment purposes only and I'm ranking these locations based on my opinion. A lot of work goes into each location and I appreciate that but this is just my honest opinion on them. Anyways now that the disclaimer is out of the way, let's get started. First we have the questionable tier, like when do I ever use these locations I mean they don't look as good compared to the other locations. But they are still cool. Then we have the meh tier, and this one is for the sometimes useful locations but they don't look the nicest compared to the others, and I don't really use them that much. Next we have the looks cool but rarely used tier. This is self explanatory, like they look really nice and have good items but I don't really use them that much or they are good locations but they don't fit in the nice and essentials tier. This brings us to the next tier which is the nice and essential tier. This has all the good locations I use regularly but they don't quite fit into the god tier. The god tier locations are just amazing. They are the ones I use every time I play the game and they have really good items. My rankings are based on the fact that I mainly decorate houses in the game rather than roleplay, so I tend to use the locations with the nicer items rather than the ones that are essential places for a roleplay. So in the questionable tier we have, the pet hotel, the restaurant, the police station, the small greenhouse, the youth club, the school playground, the beach, the beach village and the courthouse. Most of these locations are really old but it's not like I don't like them, they just aren't as good as the other locations. Also I just don't find the need to use them since I don't role play so much. This location is not bad but now that I look at it, it looks quite cool like it could potentially fit in the looks cool but rarely used tier, but the only time I've needed it is for the tortoise so I just put it in the questionable tier because it's questionable. The courthouse is an interesting one because the office room has some okay items but the rest of the building isn't that useful for me. I almost never use this location so I put it in the questionable tier. I have used this house quite a few times but it just is not the best looking house in the game so I put it in the questionable tier. In the Met tier we have, the pet shop, pet park, the grocery store, the family house, another park, another family house, farm, the barn and the school cafeteria. These locations are useful but I don't use them as much as other locations. They also look nice but there are nicer locations out there. The pet shop is cool and has nice items but it's not as essential as other locations. The pet park is a nice location, I put it in the met tier because I don't really know, it just seems like a suitable space for it. It's a nice location but I don't really use it so much. I guess it doesn't stand out enough to be put in the next tier but I like the lake and the picnic spots. The vet is cool but it's more of a role play location and I mainly decorate houses so it's not really that useful for me, but I like the small house that comes with it. Like the other location, it just doesn't stand out enough to be put in the higher tiers. In the looks cool but rarely used tier we have, the hot springs, bungalow, harvest festival, haunted house, farmhouse, stable, wildlife, the boom boom theme park, the arcade, Crumpet Junkyard, The Rogue Cafe, The Studio Apartment, The Misty Cottage House Decorating Pack and The Vacation Cool Villa Pack. The locations in this tier look really cool and they have really good items. They are also good to have in your game. However, I find that I don't use some of them that much because I just don't find the need to. Some of these locations are seasonal like The Haunted House, so I might use that one a lot in October for Halloween, but not really for the rest of the year. It's a really cool location though. Some of these locations I use quite a bit but they are not necessarily essential so they didn't go in the next tier. So I put the hot springs in this tier because the location looks amazing and it's one of my favorite looking locations in the game, but I honestly don't really use it. 
I will say though, every time I have done a role play, I find a way to use this location but like I said since I don't role play that much, it's not that useful for decorating but the actual location looks amazing. I just don't think it's essential enough to be put in the next tier. It is a really good location to just have though. I know lots of people really like the stable, but honestly I just never really use it. The location seems like it would be really really good for role plays but like I said for most locations in this tier, I don't find the need to use it. I understand why people like the location because the horses are really cool and the location looks really cool. Even though it's the newest location, I put the arcade in this tier because even though it looks really really cool and amazing and all of the animations and game machines are really cool, I haven't used it. But I can see this location being really good if I decide to make another roleplay series or something. I don't know, it just looks so good but it's not quite essential enough to be put in the next tier. Now I hear some of you asking why did you get the locations if you never use them, or if you don't think they look good. Well I appreciate every location I think they are all really cool and they are all good in their own way. You just never know when you're going to need a location. I guess it is nice to have them in case you suddenly need something but I don't think any of the locations are bad I just don't think some of them are as good as the others. Also it's because I don't role play too much so I mainly use the houses. If I were to rank these based on how good they would be for a role play then the rankings would be very different. I think all the locations are good, it just depends on how you like to play the game. I don't even have all of the locations yet. In the nice and essential tier we have, the ski resort, the ice skating village, the winter cabin, the daycare, school, the movie studio, the farmer's market, airport, treehouse, the activity house, waterfront, the hospital, business tower and the bohemian house pack. These locations are straight up essential, they are just a must have and they look amazing. They have really good items too. These are some of my favorite locations. So I put the ice skating village in this tier because the house that comes with it is amazing. It's amazing. It looks so good and I love the items that come with it. It even has a hot tub. The scenery outside looks really nice as well. It also has really nice outfits. It's one of the best houses in the game. The ice skating rink is also really nice and I love the ice skating outfits that come with this location and the crate stand. Also I love the way that the characters can actually ice skate. The activity house is also in this tier because there are so many things you can do with this location. There are really good role play ideas with this location and there are so many activities. The skate park is really cool as well, and there are so many skateboard. The painting place is also really useful because you can make custom decorations when you print out the paintings. The dorms are really cool too. So yeah, it's just a really good location and an essential one too. It comes with quite a lot of characters actually. The farmer's market is an essential because food is essential. You just need a grocery shop, and with the farmer's market you can make your own food with the food machine. It's just a good location to have. Finally in the god tier we have, the university, the apartment block, the house shop, the mall, Bob City and the Nian House Pack. These locations are just the best. They are just amazing. They are amazing and they are also amazing. Not only do they look super nice, but they are also very 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 useful locations to have in my opinion. These locations came straight from heaven itself which is why they are in the god tier. The apartment block is just so useful, because who doesn't need 4 apartments? They are really well designed and the empty one on the top floor is just so aesthetically pleasing. They are really fun to decorate. The house shop is a must have. The decorations in the shop are so cute. The shop can easily be turned into another shop too. Also, the photo booth is a nice feature. This location is just essential for decorating houses. The mall is just yes. Yes. If you ever consider getting it, it's just yes. It comes with so many good items and the shops are so cute. The whole location itself is amazing and the restaurant is so cool. It even comes with a new recipe. It just belongs in the god tier. 
Don't even get me started on the outfits it comes with. Bob City is in the god tier because it's the OG. No more explanation needed. The Nian House pack is incredible. The items that come with it are straight up god tier level. I mean can we just take the time to appreciate the fact that it comes with a toaster. The university is one of the best locations in the game in my opinion. There are just so many things you can do with it. The dorms are so cute and the items that come with the dorms are really cool. The outdoor area with the cafe is super nice. And the cafe is so cute. It comes with a really cool coffee machine. The location is designed really well. I'm also obsessed with the notice boards in the dorms or the cork boards I don't know what to call them. Anyways if you are still watching. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I don't know if this voice is annoying or not but thanks for sticking around. Of course the way you would rank these locations is probably different but this is just my opinion. Feel free to comment your opinions in the comment section. Oh I just realized I forgot to include the dentist location. I would put that in the looks cool but rarely used here because it actually could be quite an essential and it looks really cool. I don't think it's that useful though, so I think it goes in the middle tier. I also moved the hotel to the looks cool but rarely used tier as well, because it looks cool but I never really use it. I feel like it would be really good for a role play. But anyways thank you so much for watching, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to. Would you like to see me rank the outfits in the character creator? Comment below if you would. Have a nice day or night wherever you are. Stay safe. See you in my next video. Bye.